So I can't tell you this enough, and it seems a bit redundant, but um, values are the most important thing in your painting. So we've got to work on those values. I know we've already spent a whole day drawing this thing and then a whole day shading in using pencils on the values. However, we're going to now paint the values. Um, typically, when I'm doing something like this, I would probably draw it and shade in with the pencils and do it all within 30, 40 minutes. It doesn't have to be something that takes an entire day. And as you get better, it'll go faster. You're just kind of scribbling in these shades. You're not really trying to get any details at all. Um, kind of the same idea with laying down our foundation. We are going to be using um, a tan, a white, and a black to create something that looks like this here, where we're just laying in our values. I did just drip it in. Uh, this here, but it's on the side of paper and it's a practice anyways. Um, this painting here, I'm already, I have already done this step. I'm ahead of this step. However, I'm going to do it again, just so you can kind of see the way I do it. So I'm actually looking at my iPad and looking at the photo that I have taken of this. If you were doing this out in nature, it would be plain air painting, but my other class has struggled with this, not moving fast enough and not be able to keep all the stuff outside. But I'm simply laying in, and maybe I see that that tone, that value of what I'm laying down isn't bright enough. It's not a light enough tone. So maybe I start adding in some white up there, and I'm simply just adding it in. When I'm thinking about this, I'm thinking in the terms of three different values. I'm thinking in of my lightest value, my um, mid value, and my darkest value. I'm not going to try to throw in 30 different values into this painting. I'm simply blocking it out. I'm blocking out my values. I'm laying in where all my darks are and where all my lights are. I can see here that this section was darker, so I just grabbed some tan, I grabbed some black, and I had some white on my brush already, so it kind of made this nice gray. And I do want my lines to be somewhat crisp, but... We're not painting in little details. Like I'm not going to be painting in the door hinges or little details of the door knob or anything like that. I'm just simply laying in where my darks are going to be. And when I'm done, I can look at this thing and think, oh, I've got a nice flow throughout this piece and this is working. And I can see that there are some shadows here. And I can see that this shadow is pulling here see that this door has a shadow around it. Um, this has a nice mid value here, so maybe I'm laying that in. This side of the building is very light, and so maybe I'm coming in with some more white and laying in that white there to be able to separate that side. And once you get to this step, you can kind of see how it's laid out. We'll lay colors on top of this. The colors are the least important part of the painting, um, but like in this one here, you want to know that my eye is traveling to this point and back here to this point here. All right. So have those values laid in and try to try to add that into your painting.